Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Varunastra as we all know is a ship launched heavy weight electrically propelled anti-submarine torpedo capable of targeting submarines both in deep and shallow waters in an intense counter missile environment. It can be fired from all ships capable of firing heavy weight torpedoes. The torpedo has been developed by Naval Science and Technologies Laboratory NSTL of DRDO and the ship launch variant of Varunas torpedo was formally inducted in Indian Navy on 26 June 2016. One unit of Varunas cost around 10 to 12 crores and it is considered to be 95% indigenous by content. Recently, BDL has released its annual report for the year 2021-22. As for the report, Varunastra has been test fired in combat mode to test the maximum endurances of the batteries for full length of 20 km. The test was successful and met the mission requirements and objectives. Apart from this test, three more regular practice firings of Varunas was successfully conducted. All these tests were performed in the last financial year. Talking about its technical specification, Varunas weighs 1.5 tons and carries a 250 kg warhead. It is 7 to 8 meters long and has a diameter of 533 millimeters. This dimension is derived from British 21 inch torpedo first used and seen in the First World War. The Varunas heavy torpedo can reach a maximum speed of 40 knots or 74 km per hour, making it third fastest of its kind in the world after MK-48 advanced capital torpedoes and VAS Black Shark torpedoes. The Varunas is powered by DIDO's developed enhanced silver oxide zinc battery system rated at 250 kW and can reach depths of up to 400 meters. The Varunas batteries have a life of up to 5 years and can tolerate tremendous pressure and stress. For guidance, it has dual guidance system which includes wire guidance and active passive acoustic homing. The active passive acoustic homing system in Varunastra directs itself based on the echoes received in response to sound pulses generated on board much like sonar. On the other hand, the wire guidance is via a thin wire which is also a communication medium between the torpedo and the firing ship. DIDO has developed a 26 km long guidance wire divided across two spools which is being used in Varunastra. The wire spools have a twin core copper cable which is wound in such a way that unreeling it is quick and smooth. If target is located at a range exceeding 40 km, the torpedo uses its acoustic homing to locate it. The torpedo changes direction via hydraulically controlled fins and adjust their position according to the homing signals received by three pressure transducers on board. A key factor in improving the Varunas performance and accuracy is the use of autonomous guidance algorithm and low drift navigation systems. In case if enemy uses countermeasures, the Varunas can guide via GPS and DIDO claims that Indian heavy torpedo is the first in the world to have added this to its tech suit. The submarine launched version of Varunas will be guided by a fiber optic channel and will feature an improved front end seeker. There are plans to test fire a submarine version with some minor modification. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this. I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.